Patreon Saturdays. Here are some clips and then head on over to Patreon and listen to everything Kim has to say. We talk about the new season coming up of RHONJ. She's rewiving, rewatching. She's episode two of season one, jogs her memory about some Danielle Stobb stories and Manzo and the other Manzo. And we talk all about Rinna, Rinna leaving, what that means, what's the truth behind it, the future of the franchise, who do we think is going to replace her, are these rumors about Brandy true? We talk about Shaw, you guys only want to talk about Shaw and Rinna these days, or at least this week, we talk all about the 6.5 years, so here are some clips, and then head on over to Patreon and enjoy. You're saying that Laura just did this to get on the show, so let me reiterate, all the people that all lie just to get on the show, okay? Laura's lying about Melissa to get on the show. The girl Jan, uh, Jan, who was in Melissa's wedding, was lying about uh, Bulldog to get on the show. Everybody's lying about everybody to get on the show. I don't believe any of them are lying. But I did see something, and then I'll go back to, um, they, none of us, none of them really are crazy about us because we tell the truth. Look at Fuda. She's having a nervous breakdown at 30 years old or 31, whatever she is, because we told the truth about the changing of the name, the free tile, all that crap. But anyway. But we gave her kudos because she got on the show. So I don't understand what the big deal is. It's not like we knocked her. We said, good, you go, girl. You did what you needed to do to get on the show. Put your big girl pants on. You're with the big boys now. Okay, put them aside. So that Jan came and apologized. Jan did not apologize to Melissa the next day. What Jan did, I found out, was text Melissa. I don't know if they called and said, listen, I watched the episode. Everything that I said, they twisted. They added the producers. They put all things that she said that she didn't. What Jan said happened was Melissa went in the car with Bulldog. People think where there's smoke, there's fire. That's the bottom line. Making, giving this, this story wings. Like if it's not true and it really didn't happen. And this Laura is running around, you know, BSing. What, what's the big deal? If I didn't do something right. And someone was running around saying I did it. I would answer the question once, listen, it never happened and that's it and laugh it off. But they keep bringing it up and bringing it up and bringing it up because the more you say something, the more you think people are gonna believe what you're saying. You know how when people repeat a lie, a lie, a lie, they actually start to believe it themselves. That's I think what's going on right now. It's damage control before February 8th when the show comes on. This is gonna be the story. I'm getting all these DMs of all these people that have this heartfelt, um, new, a heartfelt feeling for Teresa on the fact that she had a film with her family for so many years and poor Teresa, how she had to live this life of putting their stuff out. Stop crying crocodile tears. These people are getting paid for this. If you really want it off the show, you get off the show, okay? They, they got along for a couple of years. It was all fake. They're being paid handsomely for a camera stuck up their ass. Stop carrying on over poor Teresa. It's not poor Teresa, okay? It's not poor Teresa. Stop it. If Teresa handled them coming on differently, this none of this would have ever happened. That's right. That's, so, listen, that's what it is. Also, yeah. Yeah, also, I watched the second episode of the first season. Yes. How um, is that? So, well, you know... Um, Again, um, I had my issues then. I don't have issues now. Whenever Dina sees me, she's very respectful, very nice. Um, what were your I issues noticed, then with Dina? Um, well, I can say, I'll give you a tidbit, but you're going to see. And the next season, when I go over that, Dina, this is when I'm sitting in Caroline's backyard, and it's the first time I'm filming with Michael and a group of our friends. And Carlos King says, aren't you the girl who came with Danielle for the picture when we did the pictures and you were like kind of her bodyguard? I said, yes. He goes, would you mind us filming you? Because no one's talking to Danielle. So we can bring you in as her friend, but the way they edited it and people, this was the original posh. People were calling posh and saying, Kim D's two face. Kim D. I'm like, what? Like when you see this and you're like, what? And of course I'm sure they told her to say that to create, you know, issues. I could not let go. So then that first season, when I saw it there, I'm like, oh, okay, this is the game they play. I learned real fast. Okay. So, oh, okay. I'm two-faced. They set me up. Oh, well, Kim D's a little two-faced. Well, no, I'm not. I've never been two-faced in my life. You know that, David, because let me tell you something. If I don't like something, if I don't like someone, I'm going to spill my guts. So you see what I'm saying? 
they do things that they don't even realize how they can hurt someone's business. I had a business back then. I had a reputation of being a no-nonsense businesswoman, but I learned real quick how to play the game after that. OMG. He stirs it up. So yeah, let's see what else I got from that episode. And in the coming attractions, I thought this was really ironic that Caroline Manzo, you know, remember the book that was written about Danielle. And when she was younger, she was arrested and all that. So I thought it was rich that Caroline was concerned about that, knowing what we know about, you know, Albert Manzo's family. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not that I'm going to talk about that or whatever, but that's rich that she should be concerned about people who have been arrested or people that have maybe a little bit of a shady past. Albert and Tommy are, are decent guys. I don't know until Tommy's proven, proven guilty about what took place with him and Dina and her husband. But basically, they're on the up and up, and they've worked very, very hard uh, as young guys. They lost their father very young. But I thought it was rich that she was concerned about bringing Danielle around because she was uh, arrested when she was 18 years old. Like, give me a break. She's a, she was a 40-year-old woman at the time. Also, she, was, she dated the 26-year-old. She was 45. He was 26, the guy, Steve. Danielle. When, uh, Danielle, they go on a date. They go on a date. He brings her flowers. They go on a date. And then she says to him on the date, she wants to go in the bathroom and fool around. He goes, well, let's just eat first, okay? Um, He was nothing to look at. So, and now we know what she's doing now. Only fans, is that what it's called? Anything else with New Jersey before we have to talk about Salt Lake and Rena? So think about Jersey. If there's more, if there's more I'm not going to rush you along. I don't, you know, people love to hear about Jersey. And just remember, maybe you can ask your the girls that have been on the show. Um, I find out everything. And I tell the truth. I don't lie. I make sure I know all the scoop and all the facts first. So everything that's true will be coming out. And that again, it's not a threat. It's a promise. I'm not threatening. It's my job. I agree. I like so, it. So, but I'm ready to move on. Who do you want to do? Rena first or Shah? Rena. Okay, right now. Um, well, what I heard from my and source, I, and pretty then I good gotta source. Say a lot, so go on. Yeah. Erica Jane called her the goat. I agree. And you know, did you see LVP what she said? Ding dong. And everybody's I like, did. why did yeah, ding dong? I, I like think that. uh listen, I love Brandy. I've talked to her Me one too. on one. I think she is she's real. She is real. She, she is real. Is she's real. real. Yep. She's, she's a real. loose cannon. She's I mean, when she says it, oh, she god, means yeah. It, you know? Oh god, yeah. It's funny. I think she's funny. I got a kick out of her. I used to watch it when she was on. Have oh, did you see that? Fucking go. And I'm sure er that's Erica's friend. I I'm, I don't think Erica's too happy about it because it's always nice to have somebody who has your back and is your friend and they're taking her away. Erica is kind of on an island right now because yes. why does everything go back to Jersey with me? I can't help it because these th these thoughts go through my mind. It does always go back to Jersey with Kim, but you guys love that. But don't worry, we talk all about Jen Shaw's sentence, 6.5 years. Kim and I kind of fight about some things regarding Miss Jen Shaw. We talk about that. We talk more about Rena, all these rumors that Brandy Glanville might be coming back. I got some inside information on that. Kim talks more about Jersey and the new season and her rewives, rewatching whatever you want to call it, episode two. She talks about, she has some stories about Danielle Staub and Manzo and Kim. Kim's jogging that memory of hers by rewatching. Yay for us. So head on over to Patreon and enjoy. Happy Saturday.